How you doing everybody? William Crossland back with another video today. I will be on NASCAR Racing 2003 season, a classic in uh, NASCAR simulations. The same guys, of course, you know the same guys that made went on to went on to make iRacing, made this beauty. And uh, I just wanted to start doing let's plays or whatever you want to call it on this channel when I can, uh, just as a uh, a way to bridge between real content because I, I consider this easy content as opposed to some other things that I like to do for uh, NASCAR reviews and uh, things like that. So today I'm going to do the ARCA Remax series mod. It's basically the same uh, as the original cut mod in the game. I think it uses the 2004, um, yeah, the 2004 ARCA, ARCA Remax series cars. And today we're going to be driving as Paul Menard at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And we're going to have a full field. And I'm going to have the difficulty at 94 because I am still kind of unsure. Uh, I'm sure of my, uh, unsure of my abilities. So, uh, well, yeah, we'll bump it up to 95. Sure, that, that, that's fine. And I uh, just want to make this maybe 33 laps. We'll just make it a quick shootout here. Just wanted to... Uh, put a video up like this and see what you guys think of it and uh, dedication on my part I forgot to bring a uh, my uh, mic stand up here and so I am currently sitting here with a taped Logitech microphone strapped to my chest <laughs> with scotch tape so that is if that's not dedication I don't know what is all right so let's do a couple of practice laps Make sure I don't look like an idiot, and let's get this thing going. I might look like an idiot anyway. Keep That's it usually under with me. In second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Yep, already look like an idiot. Let's restart that. Limit 45. Keep it under. I'll just do about a few laps here. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. To get warmed up again with the place. So how you guys doing? How was your Thanksgiving? I know this isn't a stream, so you're watching this afterwards, really. But I, let me know. Let me get. Let me know what you guys think. I might do do these as streams in the future. But for now, I'm just uh, experimenting with the whole idea and seeing where it takes me. I believe that car right there, that Ditech car, is Kyle Busch when he was in the ARCA series. I believe that's right. It's like one of the only people I recognize in the ARCA Remax 2004 mod besides the guy I'm driving right now, Paul Menard. Working that high lane in Atlanta. Carnation put out that video the other day. It's going to be one of them classic Atlanta finishes. Daryl Waltrip. Uh, say what you will about him, but I think he is the greatest. I just love seeing his Twitter con Twitter post. Ah, I'm talking too much, and now I can't drive. I think we're ready for the race. And, of course, I will not qualify because I want to start at the back of the field. Please don't hit me. No qualifying for me, no sir. It's gonna be a 33 lap shootout. Might as well not qualify. So that is Paul Menard's car right there. And uh, I'm using the uh, ever popular 2013 uh, user interface overhaul where they added all the NASCAR on Speed, NASCAR on Fox, NASCAR on NBC, ESPN, ABC. TNN, almost anything that NASCAR was ever broadcast on, you can make it look like it is that channel, which is pretty cool. So let's start this race. 33 laps, and I'm driving car number 33. That was no way. Drivers to your 
your intentional. Car. That just happened. Okay. 33 laps, 42 opponents, 95 opponent strength, damage realistic, yellow flags on, and I've got the weather set to perfect, almost, perfect Atlanta day, so let's get this thing started. Drivers, start your now, engine. I would have this on during the race, but as of now, I cannot figure out how to get it above the mirror, so I'm going to leave that alone. And yes, I know my field of view is out of, the, out of whack, I forgot to... Uh, turn on the field of view adjuster before I, I started up the game so that is that I'll work on that next time I do this so here we go don't want to get squirrely here so I chose Atlanta because uh, this week in iRacing the trucks and Xfinity and Cup are all running Atlanta and Oddly enough, it is kind of similar, although it is a newer version of the the pavement, as this is a 2003 version, and what's an iRacing right now is like a 2014 version of Atlanta, so a lot of years have gone by on the asphalt, and it's much slicker, and they've yet to repave the place due to driver demand. I think that's kind of nice. I went to the race last year, had a blast. So let's get let's get this going. Get ready now. Going green. I may not talk here much, so I want to finish well Pit car for in. you guys. Whoever's watching out there. Green flag. Green flag. Green, green, green. Boogity, boogity, boogity. field fan out here at Atlanta because it's hard to do anything three wide unless you're crazy. Still there. You might regret not having the field of view settings here in a minute because it does feel kind of funny. I feel like I'm sitting so far back. I'm clear outside, so I guess I'll take it. I noticed something funny about the 2004 ARCA cars. They got like two versions of the Pontiac. I'm not sure if that's a real thing or what. Like I saw like the 2003 Pontiac model and then I see this one in front of me which is like the 2002 Grand Am. Oh, we got a AI wreck. That, do that, no, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that, that never happens. I've never had that happen in my game where the AI, AI wreck like that. That's crazy. And then I'm smoking. That's great. <laughs> wow. All right, so we might have to restart this. I'll give it two more mulligans and I'll call it a video if this is not repairable damage. But you know what? It is early enough in the race, there's only three laps. We'll do this again. So let's take a look at that wreck. And we'll restart this race. Well, that didn't take long and it wasn't my fault. I just couldn't see through the smoke and I was a dummy, didn't slow down, plowed right into the 26. So let's see what happened to everybody else and what caused that. Definitely wasn't the pace car's fault. All right, who's the culprit? Okay, so who's ahead of them? If that much is sure. Uh, it looks like, oh, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Looks like it was closer up here. All right, still closer yet. All right, 25 of Venturini and Greg Sachs, I believe, in the seven car. I recognize seven because of working at Lawn and Garden at Lowe's and Walmart, and there's just a ton of seven bags and stuff like that. That's where I recognize that brand mainly. Why is he so slow? What? 
Okay, so he was really slow to begin with. He was just a slow car. Yeah, what the heck, Greg Sex? You just slow down. Why'd he do that? What? What? <laughs> Why did the AI do that? Let's uh, take it on board real quick, and then we'll reset this race. Take it on board on Greg Sex. What is that, sponsor? Ask for shrimp from Florida. All right, will do. Yep, just slow down, that's fine. Really, no, no rhyme or reason for that. Just slowing down because they wanted to, I guess. And there I am. All right, all right, folks, let's start this over. We're gonna restart this race. All right. Sorry about Carlos, that. Start your engine. I will be more careful next time, and uh, I only get one more do-over. Like I said, I want to make this a good video and actually finish somewhere. Arca Remax series. So apparently Arca is being bought by NASCAR and eventually it will merge with the K&N series. So that, that's been recent news. Any mistakes last time, just didn't check up when I saw smoke, and that's that was my downfall. So let's let, let's let that not happen again, and let's not be that wreck. Green flag, green flag, green, green, green. Here in the Arca series, we drive with them Hoosier tires. They don't use no good years. Well, back in the day, they used Hoosiers. I think now they use General General Tire. People like Natalie Decker. And... I always like that 84 lumber car because like of course his number is 84 because it's 84 lumber it just fits perfectly the perfect sponsor I might drive at that car the next time I use this mod still there you don't say Just hug the bottom, everything will be fine. It's that doppelganger Casey Mears car in the 77. I miss Target. Come back to NASCAR Target, please. We miss you. And Dodge. Miss you too. And I miss Pontiac as a brand itself. So I like not looking at the laps because it helps me uh, helps with my confidence. If that makes any sense, I like to, I'd rather just focus on the racing and then let him tell me. Getting squirrely. Really, no handling problems yet. Back to the line. 
You know what I did there? I looked straight at, at uh, myself on the webcam. Because I'm just paranoid that this thing is going to freeze up like it has before in previous tests. <sighs> Alright, I'll use my last redo. No need to uh, do that replay. We're just going to give this one more go. Drivers, start your engine. Maybe I should have made this a shorter race. I just need to focus on concentrating. All right, and that's what I'll do. I won't talk much unless I need to. Stop looking at myself. That's the key. Stop looking at myself. Check up for smoke. Not Tony Stewart, just smoke. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. It's kind of late here, but I wanted to try this again. So. My talking may be a little funny. There we go. Looking at the camera again. Maybe I should minimi minimize that so it's just out of sight completely. All right, focus on racing here. Get ready now, going green. Pit cars in. Green flag. You know, maybe I wasn't made to do this. One more time. This is it. Drivers, start your engines. I ran a test race at Atlanta while using a webcam a while ago. Never uploaded the footage. I will if you'd like me to. Uh, I used the 98 Bush mod. And that was a lot of fun. No, I didn't use a 98 Bush mod. Never mind. I used like the uh, 2009 Nationwide series with. Uh, just a PWF Bush mod. And I played as Morgan Shepard. So if you guys would like to see that, go ahead and let me know. I can upload that. Uh, really, it was just a test, so really nothing special. But there was some funny moments in it, so it's up to you. All right, this is the final time, I promise. Get ready now. Going green. Pit cars in. Ice cars in. should have used the field of view. It makes it so much easier. Even if you can't really use your mirror. The only place I wouldn't use it is restrictor plate tracks where you kind of need your mirror to plan your moves. Here, all you need, as long as you have your crew chief, you're okay. Your spotter. I could have turned up the difficulty a little bit.
Still there. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, I pack up. They do check up on you sometimes. Make sure you're still breathing. couple of attempts I have passed more people by now. Maybe it's better to take my time like this. Although probably not as enjoyable for you. Took the high line here. I love this track. They should have keep two dates on the schedule here, honestly. Maybe not with the Aero package now, but who knows? Maybe the 2019 package looks, our uh, race is really good here. Talking about Cup, of course, not Arca. Arca kind of does its own thing. Shut up and drive, William. Well, this high line's doing wonders, but it makes the AI look like they're not set strong enough. And the reckon. You're up top, three wide, inside. Ooh. The yellow flag. Oh out. man. Let's go. Race back to oh line. no. That, that was That was awesome. Clear. You got a slow car down. And we're still racing to the line because it's 2003 rules. We're definitely watching that replay. If you're watching that mirror, you just saw him go for a tumble. That was that was pretty cool. Alright. Stay behind the 77 car. Alright, let's watch that replay once we get slowed down here. That's a good stopping spot. Dummy, I should pause it. Yeah, there he is, the 55 of Bowsher. I don't really know their first names. Good gracious. Did he go for a, a ride there? Looked like the double zero had some displeasure with the 55, and boom. Took out the 44 as well. That deserves a in-car cam. Go ahead and get that for you. Well, <laughs> I'm glad I did did this race a third time or whatever time this is now. Looks like you just turned him. See if the TV goes out here. Ooh. It did not, but definitely got some dizziness going on inside that car one more time oof oof dun 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 d
dun, dun. All right. Get the idea. Yep, there's those Hoosier tires. Being put to good use there. All right, back to the race. Sorry about these caution laps. I'll try to talk through them for you. Yeah, the road is, now open. is that that doppelganger Casey Mears car? Yep. 70, I don't know the history behind that. I, and what if it had anything to do with Chip Ganassi being an ARCA? I'm not really sure. It's like a combination of Dave Blaney 77 with Chip Ganassi's 41 Target car from 2004-2003 with Casey Mears. One, eight. And then Jimmy Spencer for a little while before that. That's the die. That's the die cast I have of that, of that car, is uh, Jimmy Spencer's 41 Target Energizer car. Came with a little hood with Jimmy Spencer's signature. I, I never could read. As a kid, I could never read whose signature that was. All I knew is that it was the Target car. Because you know that's how kids work. And there's that. Oh, I'm not paying attention. There's that back grandstand taken out. And there's the east turn three grandstand taken out as well. And I remember going uh, when we were at Atlanta in February, this, pa this past February, you could see where they had both, like where the flat surface where uh, turn three grandstands used to be. You know, Daytona, where they took out the back grandstand, I think it's because they made room for the uh, Daytona Rising project where they added higher grandstands all across the front trioval. But here at Atlanta, I think it's basically just one the NASCAR boom is over, one, basically. Seven, and so to, in, in an attempt to centralize all the attendant, attendees, they just took out the grandstands that weren't really needed. Which I understand, it's from a business standpoint, but it's, it is kind of depressing to see that part of the track go. So yeah, this is Paul Menard's ARCA car from 2004. I guess those are rookie stripes? I don't know, they don't really look like rookie stripes. The one on the Target car up there, those look like rookie stripes. I guess these are rookie stripes. Stay behind Sorry. the 77 car. Uh, this is, yeah, Paul Menard's. 33 uh, this same year in 2004 his bush his bush car and selected uh, next L cup car was also 33 with Menards obviously the sponsor but on this car it was Monaco coach corporation which I'm not entirely sure what that was I know Monaco is a place you know where they have the f1 race but a Monaco Grand Prix. We're going green next time by. All right, going green. And how many laps to go? So we'll be coming up on lap 12, I do believe. One minute, 20, nine, go back green. point, seven, five, six. All right, it'll be 22 to go. And I'm still in the back. Try to make a good finish for you guys. Do, 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 do. You know, out of all the mods that are on this, that people have made for this simulation the simulator i still enjoy the original cup things that have to do with the original cup mod the best i don't know it's, it's just now. going green i love these cars Pace cars in it's what nascar looked like when i was a kid so i guess that's why it's special to green, me green green green
77 trying to take the outside there. And we'll try to take the inside from him. And that will not work. Well, maybe when we go right here it'll work. Getting a big run here. We'll just send it. Outside, outside, secure that high line now. Get, be get behind the 84 lever. Work this wheel out of four. Twenty to go. This is still one of the best NASCAR AI ever made, and it's like 16 years later. It's amazing. They're so dynamic. They're not perfect, but they're pretty dang close. No game, no racing simulator has really come close to this AI. On the oval spectrum of things, anyway. Can't really speak for road too much. I'm keeping high. Getting past. Oh, really checking up. They're not on adaptive speed control, so they shouldn't be like stopping like that. Just feathering the throttle here. I don't want to run into people. Just tap somebody the wrong way in the sim and it just takes you out. I feel like I can see the front, but it's just an illusion because they're actually way up there. I really don't know a lot of the drivers, that's why I'm not saying names, because I know I will get it wrong. A lot of the schemes in the 04 Arca set are familiar, but as far as drivers, I couldn't tell you who they are. Three wide again. And there's Joan Nemechek's number with Brian Vickers' 2004 car scheme. Anybody's guess, really. I think we found our rhythm here. I don't think we're gonna have to stop this attempt. Knock on wood. Twenty-eight kind of looks like a Terry Labonte scheme. Scared. I could just wreck any second. Woo! Did 
did not want to go three wide in the middle. Sorry. Now they're digging me. Will do. Stay low, he said. Stay William, low. stay low. Clear. Outside. Is that Jeff Gordon doppelganger? The 06. Ten laps to go. Survive nearly 12 laps on the green here since the last caution. And three wide again. Three wide again. The fun never ends. <laughs> Stay low, he says. Clear, he says. Race Arc at Atlanta, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Whew. Should I take the high line here or should I hook the bottom? I guess I'll just do this. Outside. I see, I feel like they're slowing down. I think I have them set too low for my capabilities here. I'm, I can get really fast here at Atlanta and Michigan in this game. Whoa. I was going to wreck there, sorry. I just really don't want to wreck. Everything is going so well. Now the back marker congestion. You know where we can actually fight people full throttle for positions. But there's really not that much race to le left to go. So it is what it is. Tires really don't have all that grip they had at the beginning. And these cars seem really slow. Turn it up next time. Just my wrist there. Clear. Like I was saying before, see right there is a 2002 Pontiac. And then some other cars in this field that are Pontiacs have like the 2003 look. Like that one right there. Yeah, see? That one right there? It has Pontiac in big letters. That's 2003 Pontiac. So, like, why are they both... I guess they were both allowed to be in the 2004 Arca season? I didn't know that, to be honest. A speed bump for these AI sets so low. Outside. Really should have put them at like 97 Still or something. So closer to 100. Still there. Still there. It's really just a fine line between too strong and not strong enough with the AI. But once you find exactly where you need it, it's good. 
so slow. We are now P9 if we can pass him. Yeah, definitely lost the grip. Guys, choose a different line now. Four to go. Or two to go. I guess I haven't been counting. And the leader's already got one to go. Shows you how far away he is. So we were bogged up in all that back marker traffic for so long. All the dirt on that windshield. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. And the more I do these in our 2003 videos, the more I will impersonate Rick Allen. That's that is just a that's just a given. I'll be impersonating the entire booth. It's just something I love to do. All right, so that is P9. Yeah, I'll take it. For no, for not qualifying right, with a full field, flag. it's all right. Great job, buddy. He tells me great job. That makes me happy. I guess that means we did good. All right, that will do it for this video. If you made it to the end, I wanted to congratulate you because it's probably had plenty of boring moments. Keep it under 45. Yeah, Keep it whatever. under 3,500 in second. Love that back pit stop. All right. So that's the end of that. And this uh, microphone I can rip off my chest now. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, coming up on this channel will be my 2018... Uh, season spotlight with Joey starting with Joey Logano the champion and uh, more to come still on this channel so if you like this video be sure to give this a like and uh, if you want to keep following me all through the off season for shenanigans like this and actual NASCAR news heading into 2019 go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join the William Crossland crew so until next time this is William Crossland thanks for listening